Kid K, one of um, Paul's uh, fighters. Again, with our first full contact fight against Kid K, Kareem Nasha, and Paul Merida. Mm. Okay, we'll go through them. Kareem Nasha is age 19. He's, uh, he's an owner operator as an occupation. Kid K has been training in the sport of kickboxing for six months at the Sport and Boxing Gym in South Melbourne under the tuition of Paul Fifield. And as we both know, um, Nick, Paul Fifield's been in the game a long, long time. Um, Kid K also loves going out to clubs and having a great time. His weight is 60.5 kilos, and he's had one fight and one win. How about your boy? Well, uh, Five Ready? Ready is very experienced. Ready? Uh, no, uh, I think Ready? Paul Fifield is the, uh, Ready? Say, the well-known trainer. Okay, look at this. Both in there straight away. Paul Meredith. We've got Paul Meredith, age 18, and he's also his occupation as a sales representative. Oh, look at them already having a word to the fighters, telling them to control it. These guys are going in for the kill. Green looks like he wants his blood. Look, he's going in there, giving it 100% in the first round. Wait, 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 wait. Very, very sharp. I think Paul's going to have to leave his hands up there and let him, um, let all, uh, nice kick, very nice left round house there. Yeah, Paul Meredith has got to keep his hands up and keep him, keep his space, keep the guy away from him because he's very powerful with his hands. He's got great legs too, so, um, Kareem, <coughs> Kareem is definitely a hard hitter. He's, Paul's got to work him out, he, he needs to work him out in this round if he wants to get on the second and third round, but, uh, it looks like Kareem is definitely, uh, um, and then he gets to Spider, he's going with both sides, working both sides wonderfully. I think Paul better leave his hands up. But those uh, left roundhouses are hitting right across the jaw. Yeah. Paul's pretty hard. He can take a good hit. Kareem's landing a few on him and um, hasn't really rattled him much. He's coming in quite strong again. He's working Kareem now. Both guys using their hands very effectively. Oh, who would you give that round to, Nick? I think just ahead because of the kicks to um, Kid K, Kareem. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say Kareem Nasher was definitely won that round. He looked very sharp, very aggressive, moved him well, kept working um, Paul around the ring. Put a lot of pressure on the guy. That's definitely right. Paul's got to wake up here and get his shit together. And, oh, excuse me about that. That was uh, one of those no-no words, Nick. Um, oh. Slap my wrist. I think we're both getting excited here. <laughs> yes, I think so. The evening's going quite well. It was quite an impressive first rounder. Um, we'll just give the statistics about uh, Paul Meredith. He trains at uh, the Paul Majors Australian Full Contact um, Kung Fu um, 
Kung Fu Club at the Oakley Youth Club, um, and they're training under Paul Majors, sorry, Paul Majors, and he's also the undefeated Full Contact Kung Fu middleweight champion. And I saw Paul Merida fight in Ballaratnik, and um, he was quite strong. He was very hard. He went, he went the whole three rounds very strong. So it, we, it should be good to see how Paul does this round. Well, we've only had one round so far. Let's see what uh, Paul can pull out of the bag now. A bit of a slip there. Yep. Paul, a bit too cautious, I think. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it seems that Kareem can work, he works better, he works well with his hands when the fighter's got him in close, very well. He knows how to use his uppercuts quite sharply, so um, he's obviously a seasoned uh, novice here. He's a very hard hitter, you can see the uh, power coming out of his hands, hands up, come on! Yes, definitely. Kareem seems to... Uh, now just working at a nice pace. He doesn't look overly tired. He just looks like he's working at a very even pace now. Right down a bit. Uh, Paul seems to be the aggressor in this one. I feel that Paul's moving in on his opponent. Oh, oh geez, definitely. He's got those wonderful uppercuts. He never seems to miss with those. That's Kareem Nasher. Yes. Ooh. Kareem trying to use the rope. Yeah, the guys, are, the guys are feeling the pace now. Another That's nice it. round. Yep, very nice. How do you think that one went? Oh, well, I think um, definitely Paul Meredith was the aggressor in that round. He moved quite well. He was working uh, Kareem. Kareem still got some good uppercuts in there, got some good shots. Um, I feel that uh, the, the third one, I, I'd give it one each at this round. How would you feel? I think that was, yeah, very even round. Um, I think Paul come out a bit more aggressive. Uh, hard to say how the judges scored it. Mm, I'd hate to be a judge at this point, Nick. Oh, geez, I'd hate to be a judge at any point, I feel. Some of the decisions that have to, they have to make is just... Um, is, is one of those hard things. I mean, even with, with a couple of your fights, Nick, that I've seen, a couple of those controversial decisions have been made. And um, Luckily, I uh, haven't gone to um, that stage too much, too, at too many stages. Um, all my, just about all my fights have um, stopped before the, the end of the uh, fight. We've stopped most of the guys, so... Yeah, that's good. That's what champions are made out of, Nick. And uh, I'm sure that all the... Here we go with the third round. I'm sure that all the guys will support you on that next big fight that we're all waiting for. Oh, look at that. It's definitely oh, going on. Stepping up the pace now. I think he's dropping his head a bit too far down. He better yep. watch himself. Yep. Yes, Paul Meredith again seems to be uh, uh, moving in quite hard on... Um, Trying to be the aggressor. Kareem, yes, he's definitely the aggressor. He's got to keep his head up and keep his hands up or else Kareem finds the right shot. Oh, there's another good, good jab. I think Paul's uh, got the right idea by moving in. It's nullifying all uh, Kareem's kicks and punches. Yep. I feel that uh, Kareem's still got a big roundhouse there. If he gets the right one in, it's enough to... But he needs a bit of room for that. Yeah, he needs that room. He's got to move around a bit more. Stay off the ropes. Yeah. Paul's a pretty hard fighter. He seems to be taking it quite, quite comfortably. Although, um, I think Kareem's got the uh, cleaner kicks in. Yep. Oh. Like I said, I saw Paul fight in Ballarat, and he was the aggressor on all the three rounds. Um, oh, Kareem's That's a working nice, now. Nice left and right combination there. Look at that. Now that's that's what I call a hard jaw to cop that and stand there and keep going. That's what it's all about. That's the it. will to the will to succeed. Oh, great fight! Great, very good round. Both fighters coming out very hard, going in very strong. Quite impressive. I'd hate to be judging this one, Nick. I feel that it's uh, quite difficult to, uh, from this point where I sit, but. Um, if I was to give it to anybody, I'd give it to, I believe, I'd, I'd give it to both of them, Nick. You think it's a draw, do you? Yes, I do, mate. Well, I, I, I do think uh, that Karim did come out stronger in the first round. The next two rounds were pretty even, mm -hmm. so I, I think um, the decision might go to Karim. 
Okay, we'll just wait on that, see what the judges' score is, uh, the decision that they're making. Um, Nick Greg, uh, thinks it goes to Kareem Nasher, and I believe that it could be a draw. But Nick being the experienced one, I'm sure he'll pull this one right. Just waiting on the decision now. Kareem in the blue corner and um, Paul in the uh, red, red corner. corner. Kareem thinks he's won it. Yeah, Kareem seems pretty confident about it. Um, um, it's one of those decisions that I'd hate to tackle, believe me, Nick. Um, Kareem came out very, very hard, but Paul seemed to take it quite strong. Here we go. You go with the decision, Nick. See what happens here. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of our first full contact by unanimous decision, fighting out of the blue corner, Keith K. Karim Nasher. Well, there you are, Nick. You're right. These trophies but are presented. Both fighters got a lot to learn, but um, for beginners, they're really good fighters. Yeah, um, both of them were strong fighters. They came in very hard. Um, Kareem was the aggressor in the first round, and um, Paul seemed to take it a little bit more easy in the first me, round, reading his me, opponent. We have an announcement here. Can everybody take note? We'd just like to say we've already organised a rematch with the boys, so we want to see the rematch. Thanks very much. Wonderful. Yeah. Great. Right. I'll continue from there. there. Hey, thanks a lot, Paul. <laughs> so, you know, as it goes, you know, once beaten, twice shot. Never touch this. <laughs> very good. Let's hear it for the Very guys, confident, please. man. Yeah, I like, I like the attitude. I love it. Could be a crowd puller, this guy. 